We're gonna do a little video on the loading process. Three bales at a time with this handler he's got. Okay, we're in the feed bill. We're going to get some hay. Hey, hey, hey. We're down here in the uh, holding dead holding area. And we are getting a flatbed load of hay. So we're gonna do some filming here to show you what we going to, how we gonna do it. Alright, check this out. First load got loaded. I totally forgot to film it. I gotta pick up another load tomorrow. So I'm gonna film it while he does it. Just so you can see kind of how they load this stuff. Triticale is what we're hauling. Your Anchor Brand Ranch fans will know that's what he was feeding last year in the wintertime. What did you get? So there you go. It's not bad. They say it's supposed to be pretty good for cows. So off we go. Back up on the freeway. We're going home with this one and then going to Richfield tomorrow. great though we're out here these guys grow a lot of well tritty kale is what this guy's got and these guys grow a lot of alfalfa too i'm assuming because that's alfalfa and then they got this little scale here where we jump up on and we get a lightweight he'll be here in a minute and then we come back over here not that far from the stack where we're picking up hay this is the valley we're in man running the wheel line same as we do running the pivot over there same as we used to do on grass. There you go. We're gonna do a little video on the loading process. Three bales at a time with this handler he's got. Okay, set that up about right this time. Got a little carried away last time, went a little over the edge. It's just right, man, it's just right. So we had to, we basically had to do the whole entire thing over yesterday. So yeah, he loaded He loaded yesterday, he loaded a little too far to the front and uh, ended up having to re, we had to shift it all around because there was too much um, hanging over the front and we were worried that those bales would break because they're not exactly, you know, 
easy kind of deals to deal with. So that's all we did. Got caught in the middle of a phone conversation right there with Brent. So I figured we better do some more filming here. Okay. I mean, that's literally taking him five minutes. Really not that hard. I don't even want to get in there with the straps until we're flat and good. So but we got a whole, I mean, I'm three quarters loaded already. So. And I'll throw straps here in a minute. And then this is, he got one more there. He puts the one in there and then he puts the other one, turns it sideways, turns it uh, crosswise on the trailer. And then we, uh, we go to town. Let's do that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you watch that. Oh, he puts this one up there. And then I'll start throwing some straps, but I don't wanna get in the way there. Cause if I do, I get run over and I get crushed. That would suck. That would suck. It would really ruin my day to get crushed by hay. I think it ruined my day to get crushed by anything, but. All right, here he comes. When he does this last flip deal, I'll show you. So I'll get out of the way. He's pretty good at what he does. When I first came back from Georgia, I hauled a load of hay for Brent's sister. They had to do it a whole lot different, man. They were, that was scary the way that guy loaded it. This is, this is pretty simple. Big tractor, flat ground to load on. You can see where he's going, see what he's doing. He's gonna go up there and he's gonna turn around. And then we come to here. Sits and bales on there like that. Okay, got her good. Good job. Tighten it up. 